Hello Panthers, this is Mr. Nanas, the Tech Teacher, and welcome to our Quarter 5, Week 5, B-Bots Assignment for Computer Lab. This is for all grade levels, K through 5. We're all going to get our hands on and start working with some B-Bot coding. The physical B-Bots, and also some online version of B-Bots. Let's go to my website to get started. So Panthers, we're here at my website, and so for this first week of coding with B-Bots, we're going to do it in two parts. Each class is going to break up into half doing B-Bots online and the other half are doing the real physical B-Bots. In this video example, I'm going to show you how to get started with the online B-Bot version, but I won't be showing you the real B-Bots for this video example. Just know that if and when it's your turn to do the real physical B-Bots, you're just going to have some exploration time, getting used to the controls again, getting comfortable, learning what all the buttons do. It's going to be exploring time with the B-Buttons. Okay, so if you have the physical ones, you're going to do exploration exploration time. And also kind of with the online one, you're going to do exploration time. So let me show you, okay? If it's your group's turn to do the online B-Bots, well, we're at my website. Again, this is for all grade levels. We're going to click on online B-Bot. And what's really neat is the online B-Bot works a lot like the physical real B-Bot, all right? Our B-Bot has buttons for forward, left, right, and backwards, okay? You also have a go button. You've got a clear button. You've got a pause button, all right? And so here on the online version, I'm going to let you also explore the online version today, but I'm going to start off on just this plain one. But if you wanted to change, you can click on where it says select your mat, and you can choose different mats, all right? But for this example, I'm just going to stay here. And so I just want you to know when you're exploring this week, whether it's the online or the physical, they work the same. For every time you press a button, for example, forward, and I press go, your B-Bot's going to move that action. Now, if you don't press clear this X and you start coding again, it's going to continue to, to do the code from what you add now and what you did before. It's like it's going to add to it. So look, if I press forward again, this forward added to the forward that I pressed a while ago. And so if my intention was just to go forward one space to the I, well, it's going to go forward two spaces and end up in this D space. Oops. Let me press, go. well, I'll press go. You'll see what happens. I pressed forward again by accident. It's going to hit an imaginary wall here. You see? So the idea is if you don't want to keep adding to your code, right? If you don't want to, every time you code and press go and stop, you want to press clear, all right? Let me press home in this example. So on the online version, you have home and stop. And so if the code is too much, it gets too crazy, you could just press stop. And if you want it to return to the original place of the mat, press home. Each one of these mats you're going to discover has a different home location. Okay, the home for this map is right here on the bottom left. The home for this one is at the top. So they all have different locations, all right, for home. So I'm going to press uh, forward, forward, and left, forward, because I'm going to go to the letter H here in this example. Forward, forward, left, forward, press go. And let's see. If I add, again, if I add more code, if my intention is to go to the G next, but if I just press forward and go, I'm adding to the code, and it's going to continue what this code was plus whatever else I add. If I press clear, let's press clear. Now I can press forward once and press go. I will go forward once. And so when you're exploring, I want you to realize that after every code, you can do two things. Remember what you've done before and keep adding to the code or press clear. Now I'm going to go to the left, I press clear, and I'm going to go downwards. <laughs> and there you have it, Panthers. We're taking turns, just so you understand. Half of you are going to start off with the online B-Bots, half of you are going to start with the physical B-Bots. This is really exploration time for this first week. Later on, I'm going to have different activities for you to do, all right? And so you'll see those when the time comes. But for our first week of B-Bots, we're going to be exploring with the online B 
box game, and then you who have the physical one will do the physical B-Bot game. All right, Panthers? So I can't wait till you get to try our B-Bots online and in person. It's going to be a fun week and a fun couple of weeks ahead of us exploring more B-Bots and coding. Again, this is for kinders all the way to fifth graders. Quarter five, week five, B-Bot coding. Can't wait to see you in class. Bye for now.